Welcome to the DMG Info. This is a channel all about making a role-playing game terrain out of household items and garbage and easy, cheap things you can find at dollar stores and so on and so forth. And this video is about creating a fountain. This is quite quick and easy, so keep in touch. Stay with me. Don't click away. It's that time of the weekend when it's DMG video time. I'm just lightly drinking some of this weird flavored Coca-Cola while I then find some of the other things I have drunk in the past. Of course, this is a the top of a drink bottle. You may recognize it. Clean out, make sure it's dry on the inside. Now hold on to this plastic thing on the top. We're going to be using it soon. Don't dispose of it. Now, of course, this thing has a little pop-up stuff, so you can pop it up. I like to keep it up like this. Just adds a little bit more to the piece. And this is the top of a chip packet roll tube thing, which we used in the Wizard's Tower. Excellent. So check out that video. Now, we're going to make sure that this side is up. The uh, You want the, in, uh, the, the sides up there and not down. So that'll become clear as to why soon. Then you're just going to grab the top of that drinks bottle, Hot glue around the edges and dead center of that lid. Boom. Stick it down. And there you go. There's your fountain. Like button. Support on my website. And now, nah, okay, we've got to do a lot more. We've got to put the water coming out of it, of course. And so that's when we use my magical crafting material. Tin foil. Aluminium foil. Aluminum foil. And boobity boobity boo. Whatever you call it in your country. Um, we're going to roll up a... I don't know, let's call it a twig. We're going to roll up a twig of this and hold it down on the top, take it around the edge and then bend it over so we know how long it is. Cut off the excess. Hot glue on the top, hot glue inside the lid in the tray. So we're just going to put the bottom there and stick that twig into there. I can create another four of those. Same principle, hot glue. You can put it however you want it. I've just done four, you can do three, it's up to you. And there we go. The fountain's finished. Like button, support on my website. No, 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 we've got to do some more. Of course we do. So we're going to then use some hot glue just down the tops of those to strengthen it. Uh, fill in some of the top with hot glue as well for where this water is filling up. And, uh, you know, strengthen it again down the sides of each of those. And the off cuts we had from those twigs, essentially you're going to just open those up and split them up a little bit because we're going to use that as some of the water down in that tray. So in the lid there, we're just going to place some hot glue, grab some of that tin foil. Now remember the hot glue is hot and the tin foil transfers heat, so don't hold your hands there, otherwise you'll burn yourself. And then you'll be blaming Uncle G, the DM Uncle G. Anyway, you know how it goes. Don't do anything silly like I do. Of course, then you can just fill in the rest of the tray with a little bit of Hot glue just to, you know, make it look like water inside the fountain. Because, yes, that's what it is, a fountain. And then we're going to black bomb or gray bomb or white bomb, whichever you prefer to do. I'm just experimenting with airbrushes at the moment. So I'm just using that. As you can see, I just did a gray on the center and I've done some black around. And now I'm going to use some blue paint to go over all the watery bits that were the twig and down in the tray. So it's using boots of speed to jump ahead on this. Now what you can do in the tray, instead of actually um, putting down the tin foil and the hot glue, is leave it transparent. And you can then actually paint some bricks underneath. So you'll actually have the brick texture underneath and you'll have the transparent tray. So you'll be able to see the bricks through the transparent lid, which would be really, really cool. Um, I didn't want to do that for this one. Uh, I just wanted to do my usual blue. Of course, water is not blue. Uh, this is representative. Um, just so that when people see it, they go, ooh, water. Then we get some white paint while the blue is still wet. And we're going to drag along on the blue with the white. Just to give that sort of frothy look of water. And just, again, it's I call this wet brushing. 
instead of dry brushing, you're going to wet brush on the white and that's going to mix in some of the blues and I'd hit the top of the arcs and the bottom of where the water goes in to achieve this sort of look here. It's looking great so far. Of course, there is more to do, so don't click away. So we're going to mix up some gray, just black and white, and we're just going to use this flat brush to just dab on some bricks along the side of this lid. So leaving some gaps in the paint to represent the gaps between the bricks and the mortar or whatever, however they've created said fountain, and just go all around the edges to do that. And you can obviously sit and allow it to dry if you want, uh, but uh, you know, you know me. I'm just going to continue on, and then we're just going to. I'm just dragging the brush down, hitting the edges of the different levels on the central piece of that uh, to highlight the edges, and then we're going to get an old friend we haven't used in a while, the old cotton balls that you've stolen from the, you know, the, you know, the bathroom. You shouldn't have stolen. Don't steal it. You know, go and buy your own, will you? Jeez. All right, so we're just going to tease off some pieces of that, stick them around the base of where the water is pouring into the fountain, and uh, do that around the bottom of all of them. And then I also put a little bit up the top as well, and that's the sort of mist coming off the water. So let's just have a look at what this looks like. So here it is on a tile, and as you can see, uh, the water is pouring out. You've got the sort of mist effect. You got the water, you got the little stone thing in the middle, you got the stones around the edges, all looking fabulous. So ready to go, and it doesn't take a long time at all. Really easy. So that is a fountain made from a drink top and a chip packet tube lid. Couldn't be easier. If you like this video, like button. Of course, check out the other channels in the Tabletop Crafters Guild. You've got DM Scotty on the DM's Craft. You've got Wylock and Wylock's Crafting Vids. And you've got Jeremy Pillipow on the Black Magic Craft channel. Of course, if you'd like to support, financially support the making of this channel, check out the dmg.info forward slash store. You can join us all on Facebook. And I'll see you in the next video where we're probably going to do something with this. Now, if you'd like to see other videos, this is one of the recent ones I just put out. And YouTube recommends this one over here. If you'd like to subscribe, hit the button up there. And of course, there's one of my other channels down in that corner. So, you can stay within the DMG universe. Any one of those four.